Here's a quick video of how to use groups in AutoCAD details. So first you just select all the items you want to add to a group and you just type in group, hit enter, and now they're part of a group. One good thing about the groups is, you know, moving multiple items around at one time or copying to another detail. So with groups, you could also modify by using the stretch command to move something over in a group. So deselect everything else, and now you're able to essentially move by using the stretch command. So also, if you go to the Home tab on the ribbon, you also have some other options here to select and create groups. So what I have done is created, recreated this standard detail that has blocks by using groups. So the hook lug is a group, mat clip is a group, head and seal are separate groups. So here are some of the pros and cons of the groups. Pros, they're easy to create. The part numbers are picked up by the general notes program and you can use the stretch to modify items in the group. One of the cons that I found with the groups are you can't copy and paste into another drawing and there are no dynamic features like blocks. So here's an example of, of copying and pasting into another drawing. So now that I pasted, the group has been broken. Going back to my test group, if you want to create ungroup these, you could use the ungroup command after you select the group, hit enter, and now you're back to just single entities. Thank you.